Welcome to episode number 16. 16, technology baby. We give you the latest tech updates uh, in Malaysia, out of Malaysia from two geeks. Malaysian as well. Yes, mm. I'm Ben. I'm Jason. Okay, what's coming up? Coming up, we have the news for you. Mm -hmm. Augment or Augment. Augmented. <laughs> Augmented reality is coming to our contact lenses. Wow, mm -hmm. cool. Also, now speaking of augmented reality, how about shaping objects that are floating in the sky right before your eyes and you can literally do it like that. Mm. Sexy. Mm. Someone sexy and I know it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, we have another news. Samsung created an ad that bashes iPhone users. Oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh. we gotta watch that. So bad. It's coming up. Mm -hmm. So I'll start off with uh, this news from uh, Apple. Now, the room here is saying that uh, they're going to stop working with Samsung very soon and they're moving over to Sharp. In fact, they're saying iPad 3, iPhone 5, iPhone. iPhone. <laughs> Today, what is wrong with our words, man? iPhone 5. Uh, they're all going to be using Sharp screens in the future. We don't know if it's true. Uh, also, there's this other device called the iTV. It's supposed to be the real TV. Apple TV. Uh, your TV at home, yes. Uh, it's not the Apple TV square box, but it's the TV TV by Apple. The one that have, uh, Steve Jobs says they want to implement Siri on it. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Be interesting. So check it out. They have got some concept designs. They look quite nice. It's on the screen now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's next? Yes. Next, a case for your iPhone. Okay. Uh, this case is very special. It's made by Photo Jojo. Okay. It's a case with three lens filters. Oh. Or three optical lens. It's the real optical lens on cameras. Uh, one of it is a fish eye lens. Wow. One of it is a uh, wide angle lens, uh -huh. and one of it is a telephoto lens. Telephoto lens is a zoom mm -hmm. lens. Zoom right in. Wow. Correct. So once you have plugged the casing into your iPhone, right mm -hmm. onto your iPhone, you can just rotate the dial as you can see on the screen now. I must say, change though, the lens. It's a very ugly looking thing. It's very ugly and yeah, it's very it expensive like as well. Wow. You know how much is it? It's it's. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked to see an alien beside me. Yeah. It's, two, it's 250 USD. Will you buy it? No, no. Make me look like that. <laughs> Next story oh, is eight. Now they're saying that huh, Apple, you and your cloud, we got something else yeah. too. We got SkyDrive, mm -hmm. baby. Now we all know that iCloud comes with 5 gigs of free space. Correct. A lot of people are already hitting their limits. Mm -hmm. But. Microsoft has SkyDrive 25 gigabytes for free and your oh Hotmail has unlimited space. So yes. think about that. So now they're saying in Windows 8, uh, which is coming out really soon, mm -hmm. they're saying they're going to have tight integration with cloud services so you can upload your files to the net. In fact, uh, they've got one more feature, one software called the Microsoft Mesh. So what Mesh does is it works with cloud, mm -hmm. or oh, sorry, SkyDrive. SkyDrive. Uh, so Mesh is a little bit like Dropbox. It will synchronize folders from computers to computers within the cloud. Within so SkyDrive. Within SkyDrive. So if okay. you are in, a, in the house and you have a file uploaded, immediately your office computer will get the same thing mm -hmm. from SkyDrive. So that's like Dropbox by Microsoft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Amazing. Like it. So it's on Windows 8. Yes. Next. <laughs> Next. Yeah. Okay. So just now I told you, mm. augmented reality, augmented reality, yeah. reality, uh -huh. reality is coming to our contact lenses. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So there has been a report that scientists are actually trying out this technology on contact lenses, but they are trying out on rabbits. Oh, animal testing! I disagree! Yeah, so uh, if it succeeds, uh -huh. we might actually get... <laughs> I quite like the alien look. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. So if you succeed, you might actually get alien rabbits. I mean, oh. uh, no, I mean, as in what? What, what, what were you talking about? Oh, <laughs> augmented <laughs> reality. We might actually get augmented reality contact lenses that we can use. Okay. And uh, we will be able to see things on the contact lens. Yeah, which is quite cool. Can you imagine? You don't really need a computer to know what because your eyes yeah. will be you, your screen. Imagine you're surfing Facebook by looking at your friend. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. 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 Brings, brings communication to a computer. Now, how about this though? Um, we got touchable objects. I don't know if you watch Minority Report. Remember they had this uh, this thing where there was a floating kind of device and they, they did this in mid-air and then the it would change. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. that was the glass wall, uh, the, the one where you swipe yeah. everything around. No, but they also had one more where you could 
you could like shape objects and push things backwards and bring things Oh, yes, 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 yes. So now you're saying yeah. that it is possible. In fact, we're going to video right now. Just watch it. It's by this plan. How much does it cost? They say it's between 3,000 to 35,000 US dollars per application. So that means you can literally touch and play with program from now on. It's amazing. But it's so expensive. Well, I'm sure it'll become cheaper once it becomes, you know, yeah, like 10 years later, right? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Now, now that you've shown the video, I want to show a video as well. Uh -huh. Samsung, oh, your best part. friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love it. They did an ad okay. that bashes iPhone 4S users. What did they say? Why? Because they said, why buy iPhone 4S when it looks the same? Oh, you mean they actually said that? They said that in the video. Wow. Yes. Guys, I'm so amped I could stay here for three weeks. Nine hours down and we're almost in the door. I think two people just left. Why would they be leaving when we're only nine hours away? Yeah, I mean, this is an event. Uh-oh. Blogs are saying the battery looks sketchy. You know, if it looks the same, how will people know I upgraded? 4G? Say. Is it 4G? It doesn't say. Whoa. What she got there? Not sure. What is that? Guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, bro. Can we see your phone? Uh, sure. Can I see it with my hands? Uh, have you seen this thing? Ooh. Check out the screen. This thing is huge. It's pretty massive. And it's got 4G speed. It's magnificent. Samsung. Samsung? That's yeah. a Samsung. Yeah. I could never get a Samsung. I'm creative. Dude, you're a barista. Why don't you guys just get 4G phones? Why don't you just get a 4G phone? Yeah, it's a Galaxy S2. This phone is amazing. The Galaxy S2 from Samsung. And this time around Gadget Review, we'll check out something that's green like this. What's that? It's a case. It's a case? No, it's not a case. It's something that's very cool that you plug into your iPad's bum again. Okay, you let the thing with bums on. Uh, yeah, sometimes with gadgets, yeah, that's my specialty. And for Gadget Review this time around, we've got the latest keyboard from Logitech. It's made for your iPad's bum. Okay, this is how it works. So you pull it out, it's got a little case here, which is nice because this case actually transforms into a little stand for your iPad. See, it sits nicely. So you got this here, and then you got this, which is a Bluetooth keyboard. Now, if you take a quick look at the keyboard, it's quite nice because it's got the function keys, it's got the command key, so you can like control C, command key, copy, uh, cut, Pace, it all works. Uh, of course, it also has this search button, dedicated search button that is designed for the iPad. So when you whack this, it goes into the search screen. Uh, there are also a lot of other dedicated buttons. Like for instance, you've got the keyboard to show up the keyboard. Uh, then you've got the fast forward, the rewind, the play, the volume, and of course the lock screen key. So how does it work? All right, so this is what you do. You got the iPad here, it sits snugly. Now, if you notice up here, I've already turned on the Bluetooth icon. Now, what I do is I turn on the iPad keyboard. And ta-da, it connects and it's ready to roll. Like I say, if you hit this, it goes into the search screen. You type in, say, um, hello. It works straight away, so it starts searching. And then you can go, of course, back here. And it's quite nice because now you actually get to touch your screen while you're typing. And you can type relatively fast on this. Let's just say we start a notes app. We open this thing now. And we go like, uh, hello there. This is a really awesome keyboard, which types really well. And as you can see, it's extremely fast as well. And then if you want, you can just select this, select. Or if you don't like to select it like that, you can again press shift control and it works. See, look up there. See, I can do this. And I can command copy, go to the end, command V. So all the functions work really, really volume up and volume down as well. So you press control, then volume up, volume down. So it also works like that. And there you go, the Logitech iPad keyboard 199 retail, but I think you can get it for about 150 or 170 ringgit. For apps and games this week, mm -hmm. I have apps and games for your iPhone. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. We uh, neglected the iPhone for many, many weeks. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. now I'm showing some love to the iPhone. Brilliant. What about Android? It won't work on the Android? Uh, it won't work on the Android. Shit. Shit. Yeah, so it's an app for you to discover things mm -hmm. and a game for you to cut stuff and jump. Beautiful. 
Okay, for apps this week, I want to show you Oink for the iPhone. So this is the app. Let me launch it. Basically, uh, Oink is an app for you to check into objects instead okay. of places like Undyke Foursquare. Uh -huh. So uh, let's just say you are at a bakery right? and you want to recommend the walnut cake, let's say, to mm -hmm. your friends. Mm -hmm. So you Oink it <laughs> to tell people that in this bakery, there's this walnut cake that you like, that you want to recommend. So um, when Oink users go nearby those locations, Oink will actually tell them that, hey, uh, if since you are near this shop, right, you might want to come in and check out the shoe oh, because brilliant. your friend recommended this. Cool. Yeah, so uh, this is your news feed, people, people that you follow. Mm -hmm. And here is where you discover new things by places, and this is live. Mm -hmm. So you can see what people are actually oinking right around now. the world now. So it's loading, and when someone oinks something, you can see it here. So there is no no such app for uh, Android right now. No. Okay. And uh, this is where you oink stuff. I'll show you later. This is credentials. When you start the app, you should set what you usually want to recommend. Mm -hmm. And let's just say I want, I love to recommend food and dessert. Mm -hmm. And every time I recommend one food, I get a point. Oh. Right. So uh, every time I get a point, I level up. And this builds my credentials to show people that I'm actually good at recommending food. Wow, okay. Yeah, and this is where your profile is. Now, let's say I want to oink something, I press in the middle. And this is how you oink. It's finding my location. Now that it's found my location, right, let me just say I'm at this place. Mm -hmm. I want to add, I want to recommend a dustbin to someone. Okay. So I say dustbin, okay. And then I can tag it as object. Okay, and then I can select here. Now I add, so I will be taking a picture of the dustbin. Okay, so I will take a picture of this dustbin. There. And I can apply filters as well. Ah, oh, nice. Just like Instagram. And once I'm done, I can click save. And it's oint. And it's oint. Brilliant. Yup. So that's it. This is Oint. Oh, by the way, this app is made by Kevin Rose, oh. the founder of Dick Nation. And also uh, Dick.com. And also Dick.com. Yeah, so this is his baby in, uh, from his new company called Milk. So there you go. So free. there you go. It's a free app. You can get it now from the App Store. Okay, the game that I want to show you for the iPhone is the free one from the App Store. It's called Veggie Samurai Uprising. Veggie. Mm. Yes. If you know Veggie Samurai, it's like Fruit Ninja where mm. you cut veggies in the game mm -hmm. but this is a little bit different this is where you play the ninja and it adds the platform element and you need to control it to jump as high as possible by slicing vegetables right yeah so the more you slice the higher it goes okay now so these are all the veggies this is you and as i slice it will go up so i need to keep slicing Oh, or else I'll die. Okay. Yeah, wow. Okay. Let me retry. I'll show you combos now. If I cut a few vegetables together, it'll be a combo. So let's say I cut this. So I cut both. Cut more. Ooh yep. Ooh Ooh and then you get obstacles as well. Sometimes you get bombs or you oh. get poisons. Wow. Yeah, so that's poison. You, you shouldn't hit that. Yeah, so that's basically it. And with the coins you collect, you can actually buy uh, stuff for your ninja. While you're falling, can you actually strike like uh, a watermelon uh, or something? No. Okay, now let's go back to main menu. You can see we can go to the shop. And with the points you've collected, which is... Uh, 228. Wow, you suck so bad. We can buy stuff, mm -hmm. we can uh, buy power-ups, we can boost, mm. and things like that. So it's quite fun to waste time. So there you go, episode number 16 of Technology. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed yourself. We absolutely did. Oh, by the way, we did introduce this place. Oh, this is a very nice uh, closed bag. Yeah, okay, anything you want to say? Oh yeah, we got some stuff to be given away very soon. In fact, think about mobile phones that are free from technology. We got it. And if you'd like to tweet us, what do you do? Say something. Uh, uh, at technology, at smashpop or at Benjamin. Thank you. Or if you want to send us an email, I love you at technology.com.